How many of y'all remember this last winter? Global warming, everything froze. <laughs> oh, but that, that's why. It's, well, we were, we're, and you know what they said when they found out when all these temperatures, Al Gore, the big one, buddy. Oh, okay, we're global warming. We need to do something about it. He drives or he flies in the jet, the only jet in existence today that puts out more emissions from the exhaust than any other vehicle in the world. Al Gore flies around the world telling us that we need to change our light bulb. <coughs> and we need to burn less gas. We need to ride bicycles. He's an idiot. He didn't invent the internet, he invented the undernet. Whatever that is. Undermine everybody. Well, you know what they're doing? Well, they, these out there preaching global warming. You know what happened last year, this past winter? Whenever You remember when everything froze? Al Gore flew to this thing. They were having a conference on global warming. It, they got snowed in. <laughs> I'm talking about, I think, six or eight foot of snow. I don't remember how much it was. But there was so much snow, they couldn't do anything. You know what they said? Well, we're, we're putting a hold on the global warming thing. See what's happening is it's changing a little bit and, and right now global warming is just kind of like on hold now. The, the earth's going through a process and it's going to be cool for the next several years but then it's coming back. I mean, is that retarded? And we're supposed to believe this. But Brother Mary, the, the glaciers are melting. That's what they do. How many ever put a, 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 a cube of ice in a glass and it's still there? Don't they know where that comes from? It comes from the changing of the seasons. It's going to happen. The reason why the earth is getting hotter is because man's sin is getting worse. Well, he makes, he makes the comment about the ice age and how the temperatures rise in global warming. And speaking of the next ice age around the corner, he mentioned the catastrophes that were going to happen, like 150-foot tidal waves, tsunamis, earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes that were just going to be traumatic and just be devastating. And you know what he said when he said that? And he said, God forbid that would happen. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't believe in God. Why are you using the phrase God forbid? They're double tongued. They don't know what they believe. They're pushing an agenda in order that they can get money. Let me tell you something. All of the agendas out there, except for the true gospel of Christ, is an agenda of getting your money. That's all it's about. That's all it's about. Power, prestige. People that say, well, you know, the ice age is coming. It took millions of years and, and these bad things are going to happen and God forbid all these people would die. Wait a minute. Why are you using the God for... Why do you even use His name? <laughs> People that don't believe in God use it as a cuss word all the time. If you don't believe in God, quit using it. Amen. Right. Amen. If you don't believe in God, quit cussing God every time you get mad. Quit using those words. What's wrong with people that use those words? When you say the name God, it ought to strike fear in people's heart. When you use the word hell, it ought to strike fear in people's heart. You use the word damn. It ought to strike fear in people's hearts. Don't use it as, oh, I don't like that stupid thing. You use those words. Something's wrong with somebody's heart that does that. Well, the Bible said, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Turn with me to Acts chapter number 17. And I'm going to be done. Acts chapter number 17. The heaven and the earth, the universe. This first verse is a general introduction to the inspired Bible, declaring the great and important truth that all things had a beginning, that nothing throughout the wide extent of nature exists from eternity, originated by chance, or from the skill of any inferior agent, but that the whole universe was produced by the creative power of 
God. Acts chapter 17, look at verse number 24. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing it is, seeing that He is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. How do you know God exists? Because He lived right here. Amen. He changed my life. There are people in this world that will tell you when, when they find out that I'm your pastor, that knew me before I got saved, they're going to tell you, well, all, all I can tell you is one thing. That man changed. I know I changed. I like to change. Amen. Thank God He changed me. And I believe this, if you didn't change, God didn't save you. Amen. If you didn't change, you're not saved. You never did get saved. You can't be uh, uh, the person you are and get saved and not change. I don't care how big you are or who you are or where you come from what your name is. You cannot take anybody on the face of this earth as wicked and vile and sin as everybody else is and take a holy God and powerful God and put Him in their heart and they're not going to change. And they're going to change for the better. And they're going to change. I've been changed for over 33 years now. We don't like it. That's fine. God loves you. Amen. It don't matter. The Bible said that the world ain't going to like me. Does anybody out there says, well, preacher, I don't like you. Well, that's good. The Bible said you. Well, I know where you at in the Bible. I can find, I know where your verse is. <laughs> Jesus said, they hated me, they're going to hate you also. There you are, right there. <laughs> he said, well, but I don't like you. You better get used to it. I'm going to be in heaven for all eternity. But Brother Mary, you aggravate me. Wait till we get to heaven. It will never stop. <laughs> One more verse. Romans 11. I said I'll be done next week. That was my goal. Romans 11. So you had a couple of verses there. Romans 11. Then look at verse number 36. Romans 11 and verse 36. For of Him and through Him and to Him are all things to whom be glory forever. Everything exists because of God. And I know there's going to be people that say, well, that means God made the devil. He made Lucifer. He created him, but He didn't make him sin. Oh, well, well then God created sin. No, God didn't create sin. What God did allow... What God did create was the free will of His creatures. You see, Lucifer had a free will. He had a choice. God didn't make him to be a robot. Neither did God make you to be one. Lucifer made his own choice. Therefore, he became the devil. He was cast out of heaven because he said, I will be like the Most High. I'm going to put my throne above God's throne. He didn't say I was going to destroy God, but he said I wanted to be like God. <clears throat> Lucifer always knew he couldn't destroy God. He just wanted to mess up God's plan. The reason why he figured he could mess up God's plan is he has a free will. He has the, the option to choose right or wrong. And, and he chose and said, wait a minute, if I have the option to choose... And God has given mankind the option to choose, then I can mess up God's plan and I can make God lose. What he didn't realize in crucifying the Lord of glory, Jesus Christ, that man would have the option to live forever and receive the mercy of God. One thing the devil cannot receive is the mercy of God. He can't get it. There is no mercy for him. There's no mercy for anyone who dies lost. There's no mercy for anyone who rejects the only way to get to heaven, and that is Jesus Christ. You say, what if I don't believe in God? There is no mercy for you. Mercy is not available for people that are not willing to admit and confess that they're wrong. That God is willing to extend mercy to anyone by His grace that would call upon Him. Confess 
that they are sinning. Come to Jesus.